Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, an online course for BRS was launched. New training for full speed ahead kicks off. CMP visits sailors in Newport. And February is Black History Month. Sailors can now learn more about the Blended Retirement System, or BRS, through an online training course released last week. The online course is designed to help eligible sailors learn more about BRS so they can make an informed decision to opt into the new retirement system or stay with the current one. All sailors who are opt-in eligible are required to complete the BRS training now available on Joint Knowledge Online and available soon on Navy eLearning. You can find the link to the training in our story on Navy.mil. CMP has released Full Speed Ahead training to help prevent destructive behaviors among sailors. Full Speed Ahead is designed to reinforce the Navy's core attributes to build more professional and resilient sailors. The training will blend scenario-based videos with instructor-led discussions to help mid-level leaders promote positivity in their work centers. Training will consist of small groups of less than 30 sailors from all pay grades. All sailors must complete Full Speed Ahead training no later than December 31, 2017. Click the link in our story on Navy.mil to download Full Speed Ahead material. You can also read more details in NAVADMIN 020-17. Last week, CMP and Fleet Master Chief Russell Smith met with sailors at the Naval Leadership Ethics Center and Senior Enlisted Academy in Newport, Rhode Island to discuss Sailor 2025, changes to our personnel system, and CNO's Leadership Development Framework released last week. CMP said that his goal is to have a modern personnel system for sailors, create policies that are flexible, offer choices, and empower command leadership teams with tools to retain the best and brightest sailors. You can read more on CNP's trip to Newport in our story on Navy.mil. Finally, this month, the Navy is celebrating African American and Black History Month. Sailors and commands are encouraged to use this month to recognize the contributions of African Americans in the Navy and to encourage diversity among the ranks. An educational presentation and poster on Black History Month can be requested from the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute by emailing the address below. More information can be found in our story on Navy.mil. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.